do team keep it clean what's going on it's engraving here with another video and man uh it was nice to see sammy watkins back out there at practice uh with him being back it, it makes the ravens that much better uh it gives lamar jackson yet another weapon to operate with and one that he had a pretty good connection with and that's one thing um that has i, I feel like it, it hasn't been talked about enough uh this season is the connection that lamar has been having pretty much with all his receivers that have been out there because we haven't seen any connection issues with, well obviously with hollywood i mean you know them boys they got that big trust but we haven't seen any connection issues uh with him and sammy watkins uh we haven't seen any connection issues with him and devin duvernay Prochet when he was out there we we just haven't seen it and miles boykin for the one catch that he caught we we haven't seen it so that that's been a beautiful thing uh, in Lamar's game and, and and the wide receivers game too this season it, it hasn't been one of those things where man these these guys are just not on the same page at all what's going we haven't seen that at all and I know what some of y'all are gonna say and I know what some of y'all are thinking already trust me I do but anyway um that's a big step uh in the right direction uh and now with Sammy Watkins being back we get to finally this will be the first this will be the first time in a regular season game that we see all the boys as far as wide receiver all the boys there together at the same time and we're probably going to get some sets some packages with all the boys on the field at the same time sammy watkins rashad bateman hollywood mark andrews and that's dangerous man like th that's that's dangerous that's dangerous because who do you double if you double anybody? Who do you have a, a safety help with? What like seriously? Think about that. You double you if you double anybody, then that's gonna open it up for somebody else. So it's just ugh, that's it, the game ain't it ain't hit me all the way yet. But just thinking about that, it is very very exciting. Just the possibilities of all of our boys on the field at the same time. Now we know this team will never be healthy this year. Um, and, and it's a shame because the Ravens, they did a phenomenal job of assembling this team this year. Um, if, if, they, if we could turn injuries off for this season, oh man, this roster, this roster stacked, man. This roster was like really, this was like, one of their best rosters, could I use the word ever? Like, when you think of, like, they, I don't know, man. One of their best rosters ever, maybe, yeah. Like, seriously, I know the offensive line, but I don't know. 2012 roster, that roster was pretty good. Um, 2011 and 2012 rosters, they, those were both pretty good. Um... But this, oh, like this, oh, yeah, this, this roster, was, it was nice, man. It was nice, and they, they had depth. They, they just, the, the starters were obviously nice. They had it, but then, unfortunately, injuries happened. Now, uh, while we got good news about Sammy Watkins, which is great, phenomenal, outstanding. Bad news on Derek Wolf. He said he hasn't been practicing. Back issues still. Um, and, and Jeff Zrebik said he, he's not even close to coming back. He said he ain't even close. And when I saw that, I was just like, oh, I mean, I, I've said it in videos before. And when, when they announced that he was being designated to return to practice, I was like, oh, okay, happy to be wrong. Happy to be wrong. But um, I had written him off for this year. I was like, I, I, I do not expect him to play this year at all. I don't. I don't. Because it's like, when that back injury happened and then he just got MIA, I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. I don't see it. I don't see it happening, man. I hope we see it, but I don't see it happening. And it's not looking like it's, it's happening anytime soon. Things can change anytime, but we'll see. So anything that we get from Derek Wolf, I consider it a bonus. Hopefully he gets good though, man. Hopefully he gets healthy and all that and he can come back. But if not, I, like I said, I'm, I'm not expecting him. Now, 
Uh, somebody that John Harbaugh talked about a couple of days ago, Juwan James. And Juwan James is somebody that they signed, even though he got injured. He got injured away from the Broncos, I think, and the Broncos, what they, they cut him. And uh, I'm not sure how the whole thing went between the Broncos and him and the money and all that. But the Ravens, they signed him to a two-year deal. And the deal is essentially to where he makes 500000 just while he's in recovery. 500000 So it's not a big, it's not big salary cap implications or anything like that. Uh, and then they got him signed for two years. And so next year, too, and I, I, I want to say it's incentive-based. I forgot. Whatever it is, it's some, it's some low number. It's a low number. And Harbaugh talked about Juwan James a couple of days ago at a presser and said, oh, he, he's running. He's running ahead of schedule. He, he's, uh, and he's running with no problems, no setbacks, anything like that. He could possibly play in December. And I was like, mm, uh, I don't know about that one. Because Juwan James, I was already saying anything that you get from him next year should be considered a bonus. And I said the same thing about Ronnie Stanley, too. Anything that you get from him next year, consider it a bonus. If those two can play next season, consider it a bonus. But I just felt like and still feel like with, with both of them that you, 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 next year you can't count on them. Don't put all your eggs in that basket. And, and, and just pre pretend like they're not even playing. You obviously hope that they're playing. You hope that they're healthy, but pretend like they're not even playing. But now Harbaugh said that Jawan James could possibly play in December. He didn't say anything definitive, anything like that. He said possibly, maybe. So we'll see. But even that, I, Harbaugh got the Bateman thing. He said he'd be back in September, and he technically was back. He started practicing this in September, but he didn't play till October. Now with Juwan James, Harbaugh saying he could be back in December, then I would take that as, well, Ravens need to make the playoffs so then you can get him back for playoff games. Um, but he, uh, he will certainly need to get up to speed. Well, I mean, he's been here for a while, so that's, I'm sure that's helping him get up to speed. But reading the playbook, looking at an iPad, that's one thing. That's, and, and it's completely different from actually being out there. But now if he's running and stuff and getting ramped up, okay, hey, we'll see. But still, with him this year, I'm not counting on seeing him this year. I'm not. Even though Harbaugh said it, and that would be so nice, I'm, I'm not going to count on it. Because um, I just, yeah, I ain't, I'm not counting on it. Because he just got hurt this, what, this summer, I believe. And, uh, yeah. Anyway. Um, oh, oh, Ogbui. Ogbui. Uh, they talked about him in a presser. Saying that he's been ramping up, really trying to get acclimated, really trying to get this playbook. Because you got to figure, like, he's going to be up real, real soon. Like, real, real soon. Uh, with the injury to Makari, um, with Brandon Knight, with him showing up, and, and or not even showing up, but him not showing up. With him being, oh, oh, Raven, I'm supposed to, oh, I'm going to be a Raven? Okay, never mind, I'm, I'm, I'm out. But no, seriously, though, hopefully he's, he's doing good. Um, and then with them uh, get, coming to an injury settlement with uh, Andre Smith. So he's, gone, he's a free agent. What the, what the injury settlement is, when, you play, when a player gets put on injury reserve, that means the team, not short-term injury reserve, but long-term injury reserve. When a player gets put on IR and they're done for the year, that player may feel like, hey, I, I want to play. I, I can still come back and play. I, I, I can make it through this and still play 14 this year. And the team agrees. They Okay, they can come to an injury settlement with that player. Once they come to an injury settlement with them, that player gets a lump sum or whatever, but then they, they become a free agent. So the team is done with the player. The player is done with the team. They have no more obligations to each other at all. And if that player decides to sign, sign somewhere else, somebody else wants to sign him, that's fine. He can play. Because once you come to an injury, injury reserve settlement, you're not on injury reserve anymore. You are free to go wherever you like. So Andre Smith is a free agent, and he can go wherever he likes now. So that's that. Latavius Murray is looking like he's probably not going to play uh, against the Vikings. We'll see um, if he ends up practicing on Friday. Um, Nick Boyle, uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll, we'll know about Nick Boyle if he's going to play or not on uh, Saturday, Saturday by 4 p.m. 
because that would be the deadline for the Ravens to activate him to the roster if he is going to play this week against the Vikings. So we'll know everybody who's going to play by, uh, by Saturday night. That'll give us a, a, a definitive indicator. And if they got any more call-ups, who they call up from the practice squad, if they call up anybody else to the active roster, they'll let us know. So we'll see how, uh, how everything goes. Anyway, team, keep it clean. Appreciate y'all. Thank you for always spending time with us uh, and tuning in. We out.